Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today in this video I'm gonna show how to automate your Windows installation. Meaning how you can eliminate all these steps. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and now, let's begin. By following this guide, you'll be able to automate your installation of any version of Windows, whether it's Windows XP or Windows 11. For getting started with this, you'll need a copy of Windows ISO. I'll be using Windows 11, Rufus, or any media creation tool for creating bootable USB, and most importantly, auto attendant XML file. Auto attendant XML will be generated once you proceed with this. Now, download or obtain the required ISO and media creation tool. And after that, you'll need to generate an auto attendant XML file. For that, go to the link given in the description. Now, hover your cursor on desktop, and from here, select your Windows version, and type of firmware. I'll be installing Windows 11 on a UEFI system. Now, fill in all the required details, as shown. If you have your product key, replace it with yours, if not, let it be. Now, if you'll be installing a fresh copy of Windows on a PC with a single drive which doesn't have any data, proceed with the settings. However, your drive will be erased. To eliminate the risk of data loss, a way is there which will be covered in the later part of this video. If you're willing to install Windows, along with erasing the full hard drive, you can name your partition. And now, proceed with user account settings. After filling all the required details, scroll down and click on download file to download the auto attendant XML file. After downloading all the required files, plug in your Windows bootable USB drive. I'll quickly create a bootable Windows 11 drive. After creating the bootable USB, copy the auto attendant XML file and paste it to the bootable USB. And now, if you have many drives on your PC and want to configure the drive allocation by yourself, open the auto attendant file with Notepad. In Notepad, select line 25 to 95 and delete the selected lines. After deleting the lines, if there's any space, remove the space as well, and then save the file. And now that you're done, plug in the USB to the target hardware and continue installing Windows without any chaos. Here, select the version you want to install and click on Next. 
Also, keep in mind that only the modified auto attendant XML file will show the disk configuration. If you don't have changed auto attendant XML file, then you'll only have to select the Windows version and, by clicking on Next, Windows installation will begin. And as you can see, I have landed directly on the desktop, without setting up Windows. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.